the visuals. That's the really neat, neat thing that they can that they can look at. Being able to have an iPad in front of you, and we're, we talk about things in the beginning of class, and then as class you know goes on, and they're practicing things hands on, they can go back and you know call up a picture, call up a video, and they can have that kind of visual feedback that they wouldn't necessarily get from one-on-one -on -one attention from an instructor. We have uh, an anatomy app that they can access. It's actually the Grey's Anatomy textbook, so they can actually access that and see, you know, de a lot of detail in terms of information. We have an app for orthopedic evaluation that will tell them the different special tests they can do for various body parts to see if there's a ligament um, injury, muscle injury, that type of thing. Um, we have a lot of apps for rehabilitation where they can actually Know, click on a muscle and it gives you an array of exercises to do plus stretches to do and they can help to you know pick and choose that within their programs that they're creating for rehab and there's also one that actually is created by a physical therapist that creates these protocols for you and um, the other th you know the thing I'd like for them to do is to be able to you know, evaluate that versus just use it as a cookbook um, so it creates more of a critical thinking um, situation for them instead of a situation where they can just grab it and, and go so so think you seeing what's out there for the consumer and then turning around and saying well is this good for the patient is it not good for the patient we use a lot of different sites online like WebMD and Hippocrates and we can look at different drugs and stuff like that for some of our gen med classes. Um, there's also an app that we just use, it's called I Muscle. Thank you, <laughs> yes. Um, and it just kind of breaks down the entire body, it lets us look at muscle origins and insertions and then we can activate the um, app to show us a certain movement pattern or something like that to kind of break the things down so we can understand how the body's working. <laughs> sometimes difficult because of our setting. We're in an athletic training facility, but then we're on a football field or in a hockey rink. Um, before it was difficult to embrace technology because it used to be stuck at a workstation. Now with these iPads, they go with you and they're just so easy to take with you. I mean, you can even do it on your iPhone. Um, so it's gonna be fun to see how technology is gonna transition with us because we are a mobile profession. So the goal for me is to be able for students and our staff to be able to use the iPads in any setting that we're at. So when they're doing an evaluation, they can turn around and do their documentation on the iPad instead of having to document on paper, then go to a workstation, document it there. You know, it's just, it's going, going to create a seamless transition, hopefully. It's just a matter of, of time for us to be able to, to get that to happen. Well, it's just a really interactive major. We're really used to using our hands and getting up and doing things, and it's really hard to translate going from a book to doing it on a patient. So like with the iPads, we can do stuff in motion. We can look at sequences. It's not just a book, it's kind of going in motion, which is a lot easier for us to translate into like our everyday practice.